So FD218, it's a, a unique and novel once nightly formulation of sodium oxabate. And, and um, what was done you know, with this study is we looked at, at um, patients that had narcolepsy, either NT1, which is uh, all the symptoms that I mentioned earlier, as well as NT2, which is all the symptoms except for, except for, for cataplexy. And then um, these patients were randomized one-to-one, -one, meaning that half of the patients received uh, the active drug, which is FT218, and the other half were randomized to placebo. And then they were tried at four different doses of FT218, which is 4.5, 6, 7.5, and 9 milligrams. Um, and then what we looked at for the co-primary endpoints, which were three, were the maintenance of wakefulness tests, where we have patients um, in, in our, our sleep lab where, where, they, where they're in um, a normal resting posture, uh, typically sitting up in, in, in a bed, and we see how long it takes them to, to, to uh, fall asleep. The instructions we give them is to try to remain awake. And, and these trials are these trials of the MWT or maintenance of wakefulness tests are given several times during the daytime. The other co-primary endpoint was <coughs> the clinical global impression of improvement rating, which means that, that our physicians at the sites would ask uh, the patient, you know, how, how much they felt that they had improved um, at regular intervals, you know, compared to uh, their baseline in terms of their, their symptoms of narcolepsy. And then lastly, we would, um, the last co-primary endpoint was looking at their weekly attacks of, of cataplexy. And we also looked at a secondary endpoint, which in, included um, uh, the um, for sleepiness scale, which is a subjective rating of daytime sleepiness, which basically asks them in eight uh, sort of real life, real life situations, what is our tendency to fall asleep? Is it zero or is it one with a slight chance of dozing, two moderate, three high chance of dozing? And, and the possible numbers you can get is up to 24 on these eight situations. So that was one of our uh, co-primary endpoints to look at, at how, how much subjective daytime CBS they had. So um, what happened was we randomized 222 patients and 212 received uh, greater than or equal to one dose of, of um, FT218 or placebo. Um, and it was about 107 um, in the, in the um, FT218 arm and then 105 in the placebo arm who received at, at least one dose of, the, um, uh, of, of um, FT218 or placebo. And what it showed was that uh, for the three co-primary endpoints that I mentioned, which was the NWT, which is an objective, um, objective test of daytime uh -huh. alertness, the, the CGII, which is the clinical uh -huh. global impression of improvement rating, and, and the uh, weekly cataplexic, cataplexic attacks, which were conducted by the diary. What we sh uh, showed was that there was statistically significant improvement at all um, three doses of the um, FD218. And it was statistically uh, significant, as I mentioned. And um, for the FT218, um, the statistical improvement um, uh, uh, versus uh, placebo at nine grams, there was an increase in the mean sleep latency, which is the how long on average it takes a person to fall asleep, was 10.8, meaning um, that it, it took. Um, uh, you know, the participants were able to stay uh, awake during these daytime um, trials at the MWT compared to, to uh, 4.7 minutes. And, and anything less than five minutes on the MWT is considered to be a significant. And then on the CGII, it was 72% versus 31.6% were rated either very much or much improved on that scale. And then um, the, the mean change in weekly number of cataplexy attacks was um, minus 11.5 versus 4.9 for, 
placebo. Uh, so there was a significant decrease in, in the mean weekly number of cataplexy attacks. And, and lastly, the change in the apercevity score was a minus 6.5 versus 2.7 placebo. And in terms of the safety, which you mentioned was, um, you know, the um, safety profile was very similar to that of, of the twice nightly uh, sodium oxabate. And the common reactions were um, included things like nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, and, and uh, a nocturnal bed wet wetting, which is also called um, enuresis. So that, that's sort of the summary of the, of the, of the um, results that were you know, from this trial. Thank you.